What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about this classic Nintendo game, Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble came out for the NES in 1988, and it's a story about two Bronchosaurus buddies, Bub and Bob. Essentially, two dinosaurs who blow bubbles at their enemies, capture the enemies in the bubbles, and then pop the bubble, and then collect all this food. Mmm, veggies. Now, what's great about this game is, you can play with one or two players at the same time, allowing for a more interactive gameplay. According to the manual, Bubble Bobble has two worlds. Each one has 113 levels. The secret to completing each world lies on level 99. In this level, you'll see some letters you can collect. When I was younger, I never knew what the letters spelled and I swore I spelled something different every time I played. But in reality, it spells extend. Once you collect all the letters for extend, I believe it allows you to skip a level. One of the characters in this game is called Stoner. Looks like a wizard from The Legend of Zelda. And this is Beluga, I guess their take on the Beluga Whale. You'll notice when you're running out of time or have one enemy left, the last enemy will turn red and go hyperspeed. Whoa, that was luck. As you progress in the game, you'll start seeing cooler designs for the levels. And you also can get magic bonus items, like this parasol, which allows you to warp five levels. Sometimes the levels will have words on top, which could be clues on how to beat the level. This one in particular had a magic bonus round, where you get to collect special prizes. One thing worth mentioning is if you take too long to beat a level, they send this ghost grim reaper after you. Again, the word popcorn must be a clue for the level. But sometimes the words don't even make sense, and I have no idea what they mean. A very cool feature about this game is, if you do die, you can get a password where you can start back to where you left off at. I don't think the younger me had the attention span to do 100 levels in one sitting. Yeah, I don't really know what these levels mean. So if anybody knows what these symbols mean, or what the clue is to it, leave that in the comments, because I got no idea. Shot tard? What does this mean? I got no idea what this is. Good old Darius. Maybe he's a programmer for the game. I don't know. So here's level 99, the most important level. If you look to the right, you'll see a magic crystal ball appear. You'll need that magic crystal ball, but as you can see, I can't make my way over there in time. I can only assume that this game is meant to be played with two players, because if I have the second player, they can go over there and grab that crystal ball for me. When you get to the last level to fight the Grumble Gromit, you'll see these bubbles with lightning bolts. Pop the bubbles to send lightning bolts at the enemy. I did eventually beat the game, but it wasn't the true ending. As you can see, there's two bubbles on top, so that's another clue that you need to probably beat the game with two players. So it turns out you need the magic crystal ball from level 99 if you want to advance. I fought hard, so I'm good with this ending. Alright guys, so that's Bubble Bobble. Like I said, it is a Nintendo classic. It's a game that, that I enjoy. If you haven't played it, I recommend playing it. It's still a game worth playing today, and it's still a game that I come back to. Got the cartridge right here. It's got some pretty nice artwork, and I didn't even know this, but down deep I had the manual the whole time. Alright guys, that's it for me today. Catch you next time.